Look at that rainbow. Today's a good day. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, I love shooting in Jamaica. And you know, the thing about shooting in Jamaica is everything looks so beautiful, everything looks so nice. So whenever you hit a location, you need to know what you're going for before you get carried away on something else. A little bit of crew love. Loving the crew. So, you know, we had a really talented crew out there. Jamie Ackroyd, DP. We had Mike on Focus and Grant on Steady Cam, so they came through. The recce's were crazy, up and down, rooftop to rooftop, vantage point to vantage point, just checking out the scene, trying to, you know, get inspired on location. You now, I think it's so important sometimes when you're on location to go in there with a plan, knowing what you want, but be flexible. The locations we chose had so many vantage points, so I was imagining seeing chronics from one roof to another, or maybe from the roof to the ground, or through a crowd of people. You know, we had a lot of flexibility. You know, I'm always trying to challenge myself, and I had never really shot on film besides some 8mm and some Bolex footage. So for me, this was a totally new experience, but also I felt that the film aesthetic did lend to the to the vibe and the feel I was going for for this video. So it was, you know, it was super exciting and really challenging. Working with Chronix was really easy and straightforward. He asked questions about shooting on film. You know, he understood what we were trying to do. And I think that's always beautiful when both artists are invested in the process. It just makes progress so much easier. Cool. We definitely need some. All right, I need somebody chilling on this fence. Yeah. So it'll be me when he's up there. Can I see the wife? One of the opening shots where Chronix is standing in front of a satellite. And behind him, you see the palms, the mountains, sunlight. I guess, you know, a typical Jamaican landscape or what one would expect. None of that was actually there initially, but I really wanted it to be. So working with the guys at Covert, we had fun bringing that to life and adding in those elements to just enhance the scene a little bit. And I think it came out really well. Sun grains and massage the feet, blessing a flow like river. Girl drop asleep, she steamed it in the Kawiya Sun grains and massage the feet, blessing a flow like river. Girl drop asleep, she steamed it in the Kawiya Karan set. Sun burning up till it red. Welcome to Kingston every day. You know, the floating couch scene is one of my favorite scenes in the video. Chronix sitting on this couch, floating through the middle of Kingston. His hair blowing in the wind, cool as a breeze, you know? But it was also inspired by Dennis Brown, rest in peace. And this photo of him that I found when I was doing my research, and I thought it's just so amazing. This needs to be brought back to life. Welcome to Kingston every day. It's a summer every night, feel like a Friday. The challenge that we had was making sure that we could pull it off. You know, we made this platform, painted it green, you know, put the couch on top, secured it. We had the trailer with Chronix and the couch hooked up to a truck, which we were filming from. So myself, Jamie, Mike, and other crew members were in the back, rolling through the city, filming Chronix as he performed. The platform was probably a little bit bigger than it needs to be, giving the VFX guys some stress. But you know, thank God they were able to pull it off. You know, what was quite interesting was as Chronix rolled around the neighborhood, the whole community was just showing him love, reaching out, there were school kids. Yeah, it was a great vibe. So I really want to create this scene where Chronix is on the edge of this building with a big glowing sun behind him. You know, quite surreal, quite spiritual. The rest of the frame quite empty. It's almost like he's broadcasting his own vibe to the world. Welcome to King.
Sunday every day is a summer, every night feel like a Friday. You know, I really loved that scene and I thought it was so iconic, so I really wanted to do more to it. So I ended up having my boy Terrell scratch in frame by frame lyrics from the video. And even though we didn't use it in the final cut, it came out like this. You know, when making this video, I wanted it to feel as real as possible. So, you know, using the locals from the community, using the kids on the bikes, getting the whole pretty much neighborhood to, out to support us through the shoot was so important, you know. Everything was shot within a 500 meter radius. So I got so much love for the whole community who just showed up and gave us great energy. The edit process was super interesting because of COVID-19, we had to edit remotely. So me and the editor were jumping on Zooms every single night and going back and forth to the project file because the internet connection was so bad. We had to kind of just make it work. And I think in the end, it actually worked out for the better because we had a little bit more time than usual. So, you know, it was getting late. You know, Chronix has obviously been on set for loads of hours now, so we really need to move fast. The night scene really kicked off with high energy, great dancing, good vibes, and, you know, last shot, I need to get on the top of that roof to make sure I got that zoom shot. I think it was beautiful. For real, I got shown so much love when making this video, so I just got to give love and thanks to everybody who was involved. A shout out Carlene and their team for really coming through. Special thanks to Rasta City. All the guys who brought the cars, the bikes, the kids, the mothers, the babies. Special thanks to Pierre and Co. Special thanks to JM Films. Special thanks to Chronix and his team. And if I didn't mention your name, it's love. It's Meji Lavi signing out. Thank you for watching.